Hi everyone, it's me Lina again. Thank you all for checking my video sound. I hope you're doing fine. And today I'll be making quite a short video where I'll be showing how to make ponytail, sleek ponytail. This hairstyle is very trendy right now and I can understand why people like it so much. It just makes everything look so accurate and so neat. So lots of models actually wear that type of hairstyle when they go through different type of like castings. It sort of makes your face very visible. This hairstyle is the best for those days when your hair is not freshly washed. I just want to add that the fact that your hair is not washed for this hairstyle is actually very beneficial. Anyways, let's just start. So firstly, I'm gonna show you what I'll be using. I'll be using those two brushes and also I'll be using this comb. I'll be using this hair tie and perhaps one of those ones. Also, normally I would use leave-in conditioner. Currently, I have only this one. It is also a spray, but it is heat protective spray. I'll be using this one. I'll be using also this hairspray to make it all stay together. So I haven't really decided which oil I'll be using, perhaps Bossesum. I'll be needing bobby pins. I actually normally would go for darker ones, but those are the ones that I currently have. So I'll try to use those ones and I'll see how it actually gonna work out. So my hair is not freshly washed and I think for this hairstyle it is actually quite a good thing like it's better if your hair is not freshly washed and you don't want your hair to be like very freshly washed as it will be very difficult to work with it first of all you need to brush your hair I sort of already did it previously but I'm gonna do it again and also you want to decide like what type of line here you want like do you want it straight should it be natural one or do you want something specific it is sort of up to you but it depends if you have like some sort of like hair bands or anything like that because I sort of do and I cut them myself so basically they're not so even I'm gonna show you what I mean so you want to separate your hair bands and well here I have like basically it is very uneven and you can tell even that from one side it is like much more than from other already you can sort of spot it pretty much so you can sort of actually use a little like I would say clip to hold it I forgot to actually bring it up so thumbs in like this is gonna work perfectly but you can sort of use this bobby pin perhaps to hold this part of the hair and perhaps you don't need it at all if you don't have like that type of things I'm not sure if I should call it like hair bands or anything anyways you want to sort of like get it all together you can actually use like your you know little comb for example to separate it and so on you want to make sure that right now it's not really like bothering you and it's like put aside perhaps maybe like this now when I separate it, it's like hair bands I'll be applying leave-in conditioner or something like that I'm currently having this spray so I'm gonna just use it all over my hair should we be greedy about it I'm also gonna apply quite a bit on this separated hair too because eventually we're gonna be using it too if you don't have hair bands it's even better actually for this hairstyle because it's just gonna be all together really nicely so you should apply a little bit on like the back of your hair like here where it's like not really visible let's say i'm gonna brush it out And I'm gonna apply just a little bit of this oil, it is for makeup revolution. So I don't need that much of it, maybe around this amount. And now I'm gonna apply it like through the hair. There are some left on my fingers in my hair, so I'm gonna just use it all. So I decided that I'm gonna use just a little bit of this one, NYX one. I don't know how it's gonna work out because I haven't tried it really much for this hairstyle previously. Hope it's gonna work okay. So I'm gonna just spray a little bit. I figure it might make 
hair a little bit more greasy actually and now I want to brush my hair again so I want my ponytail to be like quite high so this is what I'll be doing I'll be brushing hair up making sure that I don't leave any hair behind my hair is much more like easy to work with after I sprayed it with all those products so I'm gonna take this hair tie and I'm just gonna basically place hair like inside and then I'm gonna twist hair tie put hair again and probably gonna repeat it to make you know like it quite tight so hair doesn't like move my ponytail doesn't so my ponytail wouldn't move that much i think this ponytail is gonna be high enough i feel like it's not completely even so i'm gonna use this little foam and now i'm gonna use a little bit of uh, this spray just a little bit actually behind too so I'm gonna remove those now and I'm gonna just brush it for now and all I want to do is to separate them so I separated it as even as possible but honestly it doesn't really matter that much it's just you know how even how like accurate perhaps you want it to look like so you can take this part but brush it out and make sure that little baby hairs are there too as much as possible at least you want to place this part of the hair diagonal so like this and then you should support it with bobby pins so you want it to be like as sleek as possible at this moment just place bobby pin but it shouldn't be like way too far from the hair especially if the hair is like shorter this like sort of bangs or you know if you're gonna place it way too far it's not gonna be well supported so sometimes the thing is that bobby pin will be quite visible but i mean if the hair bands are very short it's impossible to do it in any other way so then you take this part and you also place it in a similar way like the same way but from like other side obviously diagonal so you can use two bobby pins for example because i see that they don't you know exactly support my hair properly so I need to use quite a few already. This is what happens when the hair bands are way too short. So this part of the hair from the side you also place in similar way or same one. I already can tell that I'll have to repair this again. Oh, I'll have to use another bobby pin here to support this part because it just you know doesn't really work for me because the hair bands are way too short you see it's just a problem and now you do the same thing like also you place it diagonal and you support it with body pin like as many as you need but it's better not to use too many let's just use this brush i'm gonna actually use the harder part and see how it goes because i have this brush like one side is harder one is softer so i'm gonna use more bobby pins because my hair bands are quite short but also look so i just need to make sure that it is sort of like hide them there and it stays there and i'm gonna use another one on this side just to you know, support everything nicely i sort of can see bobby pins from this side but then you know so it's really impossible to do it in any other way if you want it like very sleek i'm actually gonna apply more of this hairspray where it sort of like stands out so small hairs or anything like that to be fair i don't know in this lighting i cannot see much i'm gonna apply a little on the back i'm gonna use mirror to spot those areas where it really stands out sort of. I'm 
gonna do those motions with hands to, to make it a little bit softer, smoother. There are quite a few hairs here left, so I might use one more bobby pin actually. It's better not to use too many, but it's like sometimes difficult. I'm gonna use a little bit more of this spray. Essentially, it's almost ready. I mean, I'd say in general it is ready. I'm also gonna use the scrunchie on top of my hair tie just to make it look a little bit more, I don't know, prettier, sort of. Also, it's gonna help ponytail to stay a little bit more up, perhaps, you know.